And now, from Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world, it's The Bling Johnson Show. Tonight's musical guest is Gary P. Dunn. The house band is Lucas Cook and The Collection. Security provided by Bubba Incorporated. And now, from the broken smoke in beautiful South Austin, a man who sets his skating bed all the way up to Rawhide, Maling Johnson! All right. Hey, thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right, welcome to another episode. I don't think they know to stop. Right. Hey, thank you. That was a great welcome. Thank you. This is our first episode filming back in Austin for season three. Is everybody having a good time tonight? Yeah. I'll tell you, that's what we like to hear. Now, we got Bubba, my security guy, back in the house. Bubba, how are you? I'm doing good, doing good. All right, now, ladies, ladies, pay attention. Is he not the sexiest security guy you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> hey, I got to be honest with you. Even some dudes thought you were pretty sexy. That's okay with me. That's right. It's Austin. You got to keep it re weird and keep it real. So we are here with Lucas Cook. How you doing, buddy? Dude, I'm great. How are you? Has anybody heard of Lucas Cook? Yeah. Give it up for Lucas Cook, everybody. So Lucas Cook is the leader of our house band for the TV show. You've been doing a great job, man. We got some really good stuff in store tonight from Uncle Billy's, too. Oh, yeah. That was a great show. It was a great show. So we're back in Austin. We're back filming. And we are here at the legendary Broken Spoke in Austin, Texas. How does everybody like this venue? Yeah! All right. Now, the best part, and, and welcome all of you Houston viewers. We're really happy to have you. And the best part about going to Houston is there's 8 million more people that can watch our show. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good. I bet you do. You look pretty good. I know I do. <laughs> all right. Now, is everybody excited about being on TV in front of 8 million people? Yeah. All right. <laughs> So we're here at the Broken Spoke, and the reason that we came back here, we actually filmed here on episode one, and this is one of the most iconic uh, honky-tonks in the whole state of Texas, probably the whole south, and the owner of the Broken Spoke is a guy by the name of Mr. James White, and we want to bring him on right now. Mr. White, come on out. How you doing? Now... Now I gotta, I, I can admit defeat when I'm defeated, and I gotta admit, you're the only dude I know that dresses better than I do. I gotta, I gotta out bling the bling here. I got all my bling on for all you, all you good people. Yeah, good to see y'all out here tonight at the world famous Broken Spoke Honky Tonk. We got all the good looking girls to dance with out here. We got cold beer and good whiskey and good looking girls to dance with. What else do you need, right? Well, other than the girls, I've experienced about everything else that you just described. But I gotta tell you, you sent me an email this week as we were kind of going through organizing this show, and that you, and you said, I'm gonna wear my blingingest shirt that I got, and you really brought it out tonight. Thank you very much. Well, I see you got your cowboy boots on tonight. I did. I wore some cowboy boots. Jenna, can you get that right there? I don't know if you can get that. I got them for, I got those for $8 at a consignment shop. Out. What would you have on last time you was here? I had my checkerboard vans and you gave me a hard time, so I was scared to come here in shoes again. Well, I got your, I got your black and white hat right up there with George Strait's hat in the famous, uh, Broken Spoke Tourist Trap, my own, uh, personal museum and be sure to go back there and take a look at it tonight. Well, we did go back there and last time we were here a year ago, I asked you if you would take my hat and display it somewhere. You actually put it in a case right above President Lyndon Johnson and also Willie Nelson yep. and I mean I joke around a lot but that that was probably one of the most humbling moments of my life it's been a year since we've been here yep. and now that we're on in Houston uh, I said if I don't get famous I'll take the hat home are you gonna make me take it home or, or you want to leave it here or what do you think and what I was thinking about doing I'm trying to get famous with this show I don't know if we're gonna succeed but we believe we are so I want to see if you'll make a deal with me if I sign this and you put it somewhere in the restaurant oh. If I don't get famous in a year, I'll come back and pick it up. Hey, that'd be an honor. I thought this is your favorite hat, isn't it? Well, this is your this is one of them. This is this is the first two tone black and white hat I ever had, and it's one of my favorites. But I was gonna sign it. But if I don't get famous in a year, I'll come back and pick it up. That'll be my motivation well, to, to make it happen. <laughs> I started collecting hats. You can see, I got Alvin Crow's hat. I got President Johnson's hat. I got Willie Nelson's hat. George Strait. 
Marty Stewart. Wow, well, you definitely don't have to put this by Willie or the president's hat, but uh, well, we'll, we'll put it right right there amongst uh, these here, and I'll be proud to have it. Is that you'll put it in there? Yeah, we'll put it right in the case. We'll oh it man, because they're now we now we got a famous hat, and they might want to steal it. Yeah, hey, you know what? They might. Well, hopefully, it'll get famous. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, let's let's go ahead and do this then. Well, there we go. Oh, that, that, we got that, that autograph. That, that's an honor here. I, that's, that's a cool looking hat there, I tell you. I should have had this back in the 50s when I was a, a cool cat here in South Austin. <laughs> well, there we go. Well, we appreciate it. And there's my motivation to, to get famous and that's never right. give up. <laughs> Good deal. Well, hey, Mr. White, thank you for having us. I tell you, if you have not been to the Broken Spoke on South Lamar here in Austin, Texas, come on down. This is one of the coolest places. There's so much history. Willie Nelson's played here. You you told me a story how you used to pay George Strait $500 a night to come and play here. And, and he was darn sure glad to get 500 Now, now he gets about a million, you know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, let's have him back out. I'll come here and film it. All right, thank you all very much for coming out here. This is uh, We're celebrating our 48th year this time of year. Way back in 1964, I was driving nails in this red rustic old building. That's why it's always a special time of year. We appreciate y'all. We couldn't do it with all these good people that right. come out here, and they make it so easy for us to do that. Right. And uh, we thank goodness, and thank y'all very much for coming out here. All right, everybody give Mr. James White a big hand. James White, everybody. Thank you. So we wanted to say thank you to all of our loyal viewers and followers. This week, we just passed. Now, everybody listen to this. This is a big deal. We just passed a half a million views on our YouTube channel of all of our videos. So we really appreciate all of you who have watched. And uh, as we take you out to a commercial break, we have Mr. Lucas Cook in the collection. You guys played out at Uncle Billy's, right? Yeah, we did. Uh, it was a great show. And uh, we're going to take you out to one of the songs on the rooftop at Uncle Billy's rooftop on the third floor out on Lake Travis. Sounds good, Bling Johnson. Let's roll that footage. All right, everybody, give it up for Lucas Cook. <laughs> Yo, man, looking fly in time for summer? Then head on over to blingjohnson.com and pick
pick him up some brand new Let's Get Famous Customs gear as seen on TV. We got t-shirts, hats, koozies, and most of all, we got clothes for all you hot mamas out there. Log in, check out, look fly. innovative radio station in the country. Austin just called it Coke FM. It invented the progressive country music format and started the careers of some of today's biggest stars. The radio station that started it all. Coke FM is back on the Austin Airways at 99.3 and 98.5 or worldwide at CokeFM.com. Austin's country alternative, K-O-K-E FM. Proud to be back in the heart of Texas and taking country music back. Coke FM, 99.3 and 98.5, CokeFM.com. Limited mobility doesn't mean limited options. Providing solutions for life, the dealership of choice is Austin Mobility Solutions. We offer the largest inventory of new and pre-owned Honda, Chrysler, and Dodge Mobility vans in Central Texas. Industry-leading mobility solutions from Bruno, Gosici, and we're the number one VMI dealer in the U.S. For sales and 24-hour service, visit Austin Mobility Solutions at I-35 exit 248 in Pflugerville or austinmobility.com. Welcome to the 2012 Longhorn Tailgate from Longhorn Nation. Now, we are here with uh, four of my very best friends, and also Vanessa and Christy. Hey. <laughs> I actually need my own reality show. Now that we're out Is that Austin, right? Yeah, I need my own reality show. Why do you show? need your own reality show? Because everything that happens, happens around this girl. So, uh, so basically what you're saying is life revolves around you. Uh, yeah. I know a few people like that. Oh, hey, I, was, I actually wasn't talking about myself, but thanks. <laughs> so, hey, how do y'all feel about being on TV this year on the Bling Johnson show? I think that's awesome. Really? Have you ever seen the show before? Be honest. Absolutely not. not. Uh, so, <laughs> I think it's awesome, but I have no idea what we're doing here. I mean, you look great. Everything's going good. What's your favorite part about these tailgates? The drinking. Let's go UT. Hey, how you doing, man? Pretty good, man. What's up with the sunglasses, man? They, I bet you, did your dad let you borrow those? Dude, I found these in a trash can, man. Well, I would have never guessed. Renetta, now, earlier we were talking in the tailgate there. You look like you're about to punch my face in. Is that true or not? No, not at all. No, okay. Man, the look you were giving me just kind of scared me. Not yet. You haven't done anything quite yet. Oh, just hang around me a little while longer. I'm sure we'll exceed that threshold right there. Ten so how about, how about on three, let's give them a hook, okay? One, two, three. Huh. What? What? Uh, with your middle finger? Or what? What's happening, man? Nothing much. We're having a great time here. Everybody's enjoying themselves. We got the game on the television. We got Lucas Cook in the collection. Does it get any better than that? H heck no. It doesn't get any better than this because they're playing at my tailgate. And it's awesome. We got Bling Johnson here. And it's a great evening for everybody. What's up with the hat? It looks like it's had a few miles on it, man. <laughs> it has had 
Exactly 14 miles. 14, oh, 14 miles. Exa more than a few. It looks like 14 miles under a pickup truck. So I'll tell you what, how about you guys stand facing the camera and then on three just twirl around and give the camera once around there. Just spin around. Go ahead. <laughs> I didn't really think that you were going to do it, but hey, you did. What's up with uh, all the tattoos? I mean, I, I don't really trust people that get tattoos on their forearms. I got to be honest. <laughs> It, it, nothing screams good decision maker like an arm full of tattoos, right? <laughs> exactly. Hey, I'm right with you. That's the only reason I'm making that joke. Nothing screams fun like an arm full of tattoos. You know, I like your style. So basically, you define fun. Is that where we're headed here? I I look like fun. You do look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, are you 18 at least? Please tell me yes. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Then the thoughts inside my head are okay. What are you guys doing out here today? Oh, we, we know we're just hanging out and uh, having a good time and looking for highly qualified uh, applicants that want to be officers in the Marine Corps. So, what exactly are you guys looking for in, in Marine recruits? Oh, we're looking for the as far as the officers want to make sure that they can dedicate themselves to it and actually, you know, commit to something bigger than themselves. That way, that they know that it's just not it's not an application. It's it's a commitment. Uh, are you here with a guy today or just here by yourself? Here with my husband. That's your husband? Yeah. So you're married? I am. Okay, well, thanks for being on the show. All right, so here's the part where I start asking for a free ticket. It looks kind of weird, but it always works every single time. I got into the national championship game, the Big 12 championship game, and pretty much every game I've ever been to. And I'm trying to get Ian into the game. So here we go. Anybody got one? I need one free ticket. Anybody got one ticket? I need one. I have a ticket. Yo, what's happening, man? Wait, wait, are we Dale Dudley. Dudley. Oh, come here, come here, come here. No, really quick, really quick. We got Mr. Dale Dudley from... What's going on, man? Uh, I'm with Bob. He's Bob sure. is here, too. Bob's here, too. I love you guys, man. How you doing? How you doing? What's happening? Thanks, things going good? Uh, yeah, things are good. I'm really drunk, so I don't want to talk. That, we don't need you to talk. Sorry. The fact that you guys were on the show is awesome, man. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. It's a good guy Welcome. Here. Good seeing you. Dudley and Bob from the Dudley and Bob show, man. That was freaking cool. The fact that they know who I am and actually stop is even cooler. I need one ticket. We're here on the Bling Johnson Show outside the UT tailgate. How are y'all doing, sir? Oh, uh, quite fine. Thank I just stopped you guys because I, you were a very attractive man. Now, hey, how about you? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really good. Do you enjoy standing this close to me? Yes. I put on some Old Spice and some Just for Men. My favorite scents. <laughs> Thank you. You probably know who I am. My name is Bling Johnson. I'm a famous television star here in town. Don't all stop at once, please. I need to. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Yes, sir. The University of Texas is going to have a hard time against the University of Wyoming tonight. Is that right? Oh. Yes. Why? Why? are we? Did our bus break down and we're not showing up, or what happened? You got two tickets. You know what we're all about here at the game. You know what? I'm trying to find two tickets for my son, him and his girlfriend over well, here. Well, what'd he show up for with no tickets? We don't need him cutting into our turf. <laughs> this is our turf right here. Hold on. Hold on. I, I have a Wyoming shirt, but OU still sucks. Yeah. I like that guy. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm looking for two tickets. We actually got the TicketCity.com sign on the show earlier today. Did you really? But we don't have a TicketCity.com ticket. So did you call Randy? No. Why not? Because I don't like bothering Randy because everybody bothers Randy, and I like just being his friend. Well, do you still need two? We need two. Okay, we can make that happen. Really? Yeah. Okay, how exactly does the logistics work on that? This is my good buddy Randy, TicketCity.com in the never, house. Never drink beer before a tailgate party because it's be bad for you. That's but, right. But if you do, let me tell go you. Go to TicketCity.com and get your tickets. Victory loves preparation. And if you're watching this Bling Johnson show, victory is happening. So give it up, ladies and gentlemen. So did you prepare since you a uh, victory is preparation or whatever you just said? Victory loves preparation and Bling is prepared to be victorious. Well, I love you. Does that mean that your preparation? I am so prepared. I've got look at, the, look, look at the hot honey bunnies behind us. I'll tell you, you got some good looking girls with you. That's, a, that's just what you like to call Tuesday, though, so that's not really a big change in your everyday life. Shh, don't I tell know. anybody. You got, I need one ticket, man. We're trying to get on for the TV. Have you heard of the Bling Johnson show? No, I have not. Would you like to be on TV? Our goal every season is to get one free ticket to get into the game. Can you help us? Yeah, we can help you. Really? Yeah. Now you got two tickets that. I mean, we're, I'm trying to get me and my bu my buddy in, and that's all we're trying to do. Yeah, we got two of them. Really? Yeah, that are going to go not used. Well, let's see them. Let's go. I'll take them. We're trying to get in. So you guys have two tickets. Now, we've had a run of three consecutive years of getting into the opening game for free. Are you able to help us? We are able to help you. You're going to give us these tickets? We're going to give you those tickets. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. Ian, we did it. We did it. And come here. Give me a hug. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come here. I'm going to hug you too, man. And we did it! We got two, man! To the world that I call home With honky trunks and rodeos You can be yourself in modern... And we are...
are here with Gary P. Nunn. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm really good. I got to tell you, I'm really excited to be here with you. I mean, you're you're a Texas legend. I've been doing my research, and you're a legend here in Texas. Well, they say that if you live long enough and hang around, you know, they start to call you a legend. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've been doing it a long time. I have a feeling no matter how long I'm around, I'm not going to hit that mark. No, but uh, one thing I found out, I had to ask you about this because it was so cool. Uh, uh, Rick, Governor Rick Perry uh, uh, nominated you or somehow got you into the Texas Hall of Fame. How did that happen and what was that all about? Well, actually, it was uh, he designated, you know, he can make these proclamations being the governor. And so he made this proclamation that that i was the official uh, ambassador of texas music is that right so uh I'm, I'm pretty proud of that well i tell you that's something to be proud of and it makes me want to like write him and make him make me ambassador of something of yeah. entertainment i want yeah, to be ambassador yeah. of entertainment for austin that's right well i think you should be Can you yeah. give him a call for me i will oh that's great hey we're here uh not only for your concert but this is your cd release uh two things i want to ask you what's the name of your cd and and how many cds have you put out over the years well, uh, the name of the CD is uh, One Way or Another. There's a song on there that a good friend of mine, unfortunately, took his life several years ago. But uh, it goes, one way or another, you're going to love me someday. So I said, I can identify with that. But this is, I, I believe it's uh, my 16th CD. 16. So how long have you been playing music? Well, I started, I'm not going to tell you. I don't want to date you. <laughs> but I, I started in the eighth grade. In the eighth grade, yeah. so about 15, 20 years ago? 15 or 50 years ago, yeah. That, that's perfect. Well, hey, thank you very much for coming and being on the show. And one of the reasons we wanted to come back to the Broken Spoke and have you on here specifically is there's a lot of new stuff coming out, but I think sometimes the newer artists either don't know or they forget about the people that have paved the way for them. You're one of those artists. And uh, thanks for being on our show, and thanks for playing here tonight. Well, thanks. It's delightful to be here, and uh, we're looking forward to a good show. All right, well, how about we get famous? You ready? Let's get famous. All right. <laughs> we'll be right right back after this message with Mr. Gary P. Nunn live on stage at the Broken Spoke. Mom, it's hot. KMAC, this is Kevin. Hi Kevin, this is Julie. I have a problem with my air conditioner and I'm hoping you can help me. Hi, I'm Kevin Moody with KMAC. Don't worry about this. I see it all the time. I'm gonna need some bigger tools. You're probably environmentally conscious and already doing things like separating your recycled plastics from your garbage. But do you know what happens to those recyclable items once you've done your part? Currently, more recycled plastic is collected than can be used. Many times, the recycled plastic that's collected ends up back in landfills and the waste stream because there's not enough demand. Reflex Packaging has developed cushions to protect sensitive items during shipping using recycled plastic. Environmentally conscious companies are already using this packaging like Taylor Guitar and Seagate to reduce their carbon footprint. For more information, find us on Facebook and visit reflexpackaging.com. All right, from our last CD, Taking Texas to the Country, stay right where you are, don't go anywhere, because you're liable to fall in love with that gal you're dancing with. Here's one called Love is Just a Two-Step Away. It don't get more country than this. One, two. Hey. 
se mou pas And love was just a two-step away We'll dance through life together Until we're rolling gray When God made country music It was my lucky day Yes, love was just a two-step away How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. I tell you, you got a sharp-looking outfit Thank on there. Very much. This is actually uh, worn by a offensive coordinator. Uh, really? Back in 1968 or what? Ah, uh, we need two tickets to today's uh, football game. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You... Hey, I need two tickets. Man, this is great. This is better than Match.com, except they don't stop. <laughs> 